Attempt number six, and these things are dicks. Oh, okay. Barely made that jump, but whatever, at least I did. <sighs> okay, I hope I can actually get into the thing this time. Lately, I've been having a lot of trouble with that. Come on, just go. Okay, I've got it going, got it going. Just gotta keep a consistent beat. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, God. Ah, uh, no. Okay, I can still make it, I can still make it. Maybe. Okay, get back up. Oh, thank Jesus. Oh, man. Okay. Whew. Gotta catch my breath there. I honestly wasn't expecting to make it. I thought this was gonna take like ten tries. Okay, so now, thank you for giving me an energy thing. Huh, <sighs> sweating like crazy here. But, um, anyway, it's far from over because I've still gotta fight three Chozo ghosts now with nothing but the stupid pea shooter. Thankfully, I have my old controller back so it's not gonna squeak every other shot. But that just makes it less annoying to the listener. It's not going to be any easier. So yeah, and also that other controller was a turbo. But I, was, I wasn't planning on using the turbo button anyway because I kind of think that that's cheap. Uh, thank you for appearing right in my face there. I really appreciate that. Yeah, you've got to just watch the radar here. There's really... It's not that hard, but to lose at this point would be very, very suckish. Because then I'd have to redo all of that again. I mean, it's bad enough that I had to fight Flagra, like, and bomb jump over that gate, although I guess I could have uh, scanned the runes. That would have probably taken just as long. Had to do all that every time. So this was the sixth, the sixth time. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sick of that boss fight. Surprisingly, I haven't died against it yet. I figured at one point I'd be slipping up and dying against it, but nope, I always got it. Oh, God. How did I get down to 60? I guess it's because it was, like, right up in my grill. I gotta hope that once I kill one of these things, it's gonna drop some energy. Oh, shit. Okay, there's a dead one. I'm heading towards it now, hoping for an energy thing. Oh, and there's another dead one. Okay, this might not be so bad then. Where's that last guy? I think I saw him. Yeah, there he is. Ah, got... Okay, hopefully he should go down pretty quickly. Where are you gonna go up here? Oh, right there. Okay! These assholes are all dead, so I can get my first artifact. Oh, and I also apologize for the game volume being quiet. Uh, it's because the kids are trying to sleep. I'm recording this at night because uh, my internet is down. I would have waited until tomorrow to do it, but since I have no internet, I don't really have much else better to do other than raising a rye horn because I've spent the past couple weeks trying to breed an adamant one with Rockhead. And after getting seven of those and picking the best of the litter, I finally had to raise it all the way to level 42 to evolve it. But yeah, never mind. Nobody cares. I'm just bitching about that because I don't like breeding stuff. Okay, so now time to actually jump down for real. Yeah, how you'd normally do that is you have to scan these things that are behind uh, those, like, wall decorations. Huh? My internet isn't working. I'm talking by recording, and you're interrupting me, so please, vamos. Yeah, like I said, the internet's been down. I guess she heard me talking and figured I was talking to someone on Skype. Anyway... Uh, down to Magmore Caverns we go. 
That elevator has been known to crash the game in some early copies. I have an early copy, but since I'm playing this on the Wii, hopefully um, it won't do that because it has like a better processor. There's also an area in Chozo Ruins around the furnace that freezes the game a lot. That would that really pisses me off because it happens to me a lot. I don't think I've ever gotten that elevator to freeze, but the furnace area, hell yeah. Oh yeah, and obviously I don't have the fusion suit turned on now, mostly because I forgot to activate it, but also because I just like this one better. I'll probably be switching randomly throughout the entire run just to keep you on your toes or something. Okay, so yeah, Magmore Caverns. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything too interesting here. There is an artifact in this room, though. Right there. So I'm going to pick that up. It was pretty easy. <laughs> And there is another one that I might be able to reach, assuming I have enough time for it. Uh, yeah, I want to be over here. Uh, whatever. Sometimes I do crazy crap, I like scan or dash jumping off the puffers. You never actually need to do that, though. Okay, this room, luckily I can avoid the triclopses by just jumping over the gate. This room has like a m couple missiles in it. Obviously, I'm not getting those. Uh, if I've never mentioned it before, if you press L, like immediately after jumping, it gives you a bit of a speed boost and distance boost. So that's why you see me jumping a lot instead of just walking. Okay, this room. After I destroy these auto turrets, or at least that one. Yeah, I can get up and get another artifact here. Uh, you first you gotta ghetto jump up this rock. Then jump over here. Ghetto jump up another rock. And now you're all the way up here. Normally you need the boost ball to get over here by like lowering a bridge. I'm getting the boost ball anyway, but since I'm in the neighborhood I might as well pick this up now. And if I was doing a 100% game, I wouldn't be doing that, because there's a power bomb in here. I'd just come in here after I have the power bomb, so I can get that one. But whatever. Three artifacts in one video. Okay... I'm trying to fill up on some life here, not that I'll really need it, but whatever. And let's get in the door before I get shot. Go through this place. I have actually died in this room, like, in a normal 100% run. Like, after beating this 23% game. It's not even a hard room. All you have to do is double bomb jump a couple times to reach the energy tank. And I did this with three energy tanks, and I still managed to die. My talent in this game really fluctuates a lot. Hopefully I have enough missiles to get through this crap. Yep, I have exactly enough. That was convenient, because without the charge beam there's no other way to get rid of those. Probably have to go back to Magmore and kill stuff if I didn't have enough. So anyway, Fendrana drifts. Uh, in this area I'm going to be getting the wave beam and I guess the boost ball. I'm kind of debating if I want to pick that up or not, but I definitely do. Because I'll never be able to actually complete this without without it. So, yeah, I'm going to end a little, like a minute early here, because this is a good stopping point. Made a surprising amount of progress in this one. So, yeah, next time, probably picking up wave beam and boost ball. So, see you then.